Franklin's birthday party. Franklin count by twos and tie his shoes. He knew the days of the week and the months of the year. Soon it will be his birthday. Franklin was counting the days to the best birthday party ever. Franklin looked at the photos in the family album. Last year I had a treasure hunt for my birthday, he said, and the year before that I had a costume party. What do you want to do this year, asked his mother. I'm not sure, replied Franklin, but it's going to be the best party ever. The next day, Franklin invited all his friends to his birthday. What are we doing at your party, asked Bear. I don't know yet, answered Franklin, but I want to do something really fun. Franklin's friends had lots of ideas. How about mini golf, said Snail. Or bowling, suggested Fox. Water slides are fun, said Goose. I like squirt tags, said Badger. Franklin said these were all great ideas. But you'll have to choose, Franklin, insisted Beaver. We can't do everything. Franklin thought for a moment. We can we can if we go to Tamarack Play Park, he replied. They have everything there. Everyone was excited. Franklin ran home and told his parents the good news. Tamarack Play Park will be lots of fun, agreed his father. And I've already invited everyone, Franklin announced. Oh dear, said his mother. Franklin's parents explained the problem. Tamarack Play Park is expensive, Franklin, said his father. We can only take two of your friends. Franklin felt terrible. His mother gave him a hug. I'm sure your other friends will understand. Franklin wasn't so sure. Franklin didn't play with his friends for the rest of the day. He stayed in his room and thought about his party. He really wanted to go to Tamarack Play Park, but how could he just pick two of his friends? What would he tell the others? Franklin sighed. This is not going to be the best birthday ever. At supper that night, Franklin told his parents that he wanted everyone at his party. You can have all your friends if your party's in the backyard, his mother suggested. But there's so much to do at Tamarack Play Park, said Franklin. Too bad we can't bring Tamarack to the backyard, laughed his father. Hmm, thought Franklin. Maybe we can, he exclaimed. Franklin and his parents were busy all that week. They spent lots of time in the tool shed and in the basement and outside in the yard. They made trips to the hardware store and to the party shop. Franklin didn't tell anyone what they were doing. By noon on Saturday, all of Franklin's friends had arrived for the party. When are we going to Tamarack? asked Bear. Well, or not, answered Franklin. What do you mean? demanded Beaver. Franklin took a deep breath and exclaimed, I wanted all of you at my party finished, so follow me. Franklin led the way to the backyard. Welcome to Turtle Play Park, he announced. Wow, said everyone. All afternoon, Franklin and his friends played mini golf and lawn bowling. They ran through the sprinkler and slid down the slide into the pond. They played squirt tag and pinned the tail on the turtle. There was lots of food and games and prizes. Soon it was time for cake and ice cream. Everyone gathered around Franklin and sang happy birthday with loud and cheerful voices. Afterward, Franklin opened his gifts and each one was just right. When all of his friends had gone home, Franklin thanked his parents. Was it the best birthday party ever, they asked him. It sure was, said Franklin. Then he grinned, until next year.